It's actually right outside of this building. You probably passed it when you walked in here, and you might have even seen there's actually a whole litany. There's like 20 murals right outside. This image is an example of something I really love about Melbourne. The street art culture is just out of this world. Like, I, I moved here two months ago, and one of the first things I noticed was the fact that uh, there's, there is this huge culture here. And it's, it's amazing because you can, the thing about street art is that it could be something that's so personal. It could be something that's it's so beautiful, it has the aesthetic qualities. It's also something that's really personal to you because everybody will see a different piece of art. You might see something that no one else will see. And it, the next day it might even be painted over. So it's, it's really special in that sense. So when I see a piece of art like this, I think, wow, it's got, it's got a lot of power to it. It's got a lot of emotions. It's beautiful. So I'm going to actually go ahead and take a photo of this one. Okay, got it. And um, I'm, so I took a photo of this beautiful art. I'm wondering how am I going to share this with other people? How am I going to let my friends know that this exists? Well, that's where I found this cool app called Graphic. So basically on this app, it's everything street art related. So you can find street art in your local area. You can also uh, upload art that you found. You can interact with the street art community. You can also contact and find out more information about street artists. So for example, if you wanted to find out information about all the street artists in Melbourne, for example, you could search Melbourne and it'll return a list of results where you can uh, find them find each piece of art by location if you're only to find it by a specific place, or you can peruse them by the photos and the titles and the interesting description that they have. So for example, I'm gonna click on this one, and it's gonna take me to a page where there's a lot of extra information about the art. So I think that's really cool because a lot of the time you see street art everywhere, but you don't actually know too much about it. There's not a lot of details. And this is an opportunity to learn a bit more. So for example, I can find out who uploaded it, who is the secret hero who spent the time to go out there to buy or to take a photo and to upload it. I can like it, I can comment on it, I can, uh, I can also find out the location. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually check out who the artist is. I'm going to do that by clicking on the avatar, which is going to take me to the artist's page, profile page. So here I can learn more about each individual artist. For example, this artist was ins inspired by Cezanne's work. And really, and I like the quote that they put up there is, a work of art which did not begin in emotion is not art. And that's, that's really interesting. You know that this artist is going to really put passion and emotion into their piece. And you can also find on this page other art that they like. You could find art that they've created. You can also find art that they've uploaded. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I took a photo earlier and I want to share it, so I'm going to upload it on Graphic. And there we go. So it's, the address was uh, the CBD. Uh, for the title, I can give it anything I want, so I'm going to come up with an interesting name. I think I'll call it Fractured, because it had, the photo was of those two women, and it had so much emotion behind it. It also had the two girls like looking off in different directions. So it's kind of a split there. And uh, for the description, I'm going to say, keep it simple, I'll say two girls uh, with melancholic gazes. <laughs> Straight to the point. Um, and then for the tags, I can add something like, just something that, uh, very obvious as well, say blue, most obvious thing you think of when you see that. Um, I could add urban, I could also put, um, I'll add the emotion as well, melancholic. And the thing, of, the thing with the tags is that it's going to make it a lot easier for other people to find the art. It's also going to organize all the pieces of art together that are similar. So there you go. Within just a few minutes, I've already added a piece of art on graphic that I just found. And now anyone who goes to this website, they can find out more information about this piece of art. For example, an artist could find this page and they could claim the art so everyone knows that that particular piece is by them. And I could also, if I want, go to check out the tags that I put in, uh, just to see if there's any other art that's similar to something that I, that I like. And there you go, they're, they're all blue. Um, so if, so you guys are all welcome to do the same, actually. So if you want to go, if you want, you can go to graphic.xyz, and you can uh, start sharing art that you found. 
Thank you. Whereby we just 
recommend some of the pieces for some of the components so that you just have to literally stupidly follow the steps and you can buy the computer without having to even worry about whether it's compatible, whether it's the right component, whether it works for the game your kid plays. So really this is for us really important to really break that difficulty in buying computers these days because the gaming market is growing so heavily that we need to make sure the barrier to entry is broken. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the project we're really proud of and uh, yeah, thank you very much for your attention.